Hey my dogs, it's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. Um, so today, this is kind of a request. I was in a, a chat, Becca's chat I believe, on, on Friday night. And for some reason we started talking about tinned decks. And I said I'd got a few tin decks and um, somebody suggested that I show them. And I said, well, I can show them. Don't quite know what to say about them. Um, but by all means, I can show them. The conversation actually came up because I had ordered the Universal Weight in a tin, which has just been released by US Games. Um, a little story there as well, if I can just segue <laughs> for a second. So you know about my ongoing kind of issues with Amazon. Um, and whilst I cancelled my Prime membership, they left my account open, which is good in a way that I can still have a wish list, uh, but I choose to buy from Book Depository, Wordery, etc. Anyway, um, I went on and I saw that they'd got the um, Universal Tarot in a tin, the Universal Weight Tarot in a tin, and I ordered it through them, Book Depository through them. This morning, I received an email from Amazon saying, we've cancelled your order and you'll be refunded in seven to 10 days. Now, normally that's when there's nothing in stock. Um, no explanation given, but then it said, you may want to go onto Amazon and order through Amazon. No, I don't want to do that. Um, so I went onto Book Depository and they have them in stock. So I've ordered direct via Book Depository. But I thought it was really naughty that they offer to sell things through Marketplace and I selected Book Depository and they just cancelled the order. No explanation given, suggested I buy through them and uh, yeah, there we go. So, that's my little segue. So it hasn't arrived and it'll probably take probably a week with it being Book Depository to get to me. But so far I have 12 uh, tins, tarot in a tins, um, from US games. There are other kind of things that come in tins, you know, the ones you can buy from like mate playing cards or there's that holographic Chinese deck that came in a tin. But purely from the US games style um, tin, I have, um, I have 12. So I thought I'll just talk about my favourite um, tarot in the tin. Now, not all of them are tarot because I have, as well, Pix's Astounding Lenormand in a tin. And this is, this is great. I mean, every, everybody seems to think, as well, that the tins are all the same size, um, that they're all the same thickness, the cards are the same, they're not, they, they do vary. So they don't stack very well at all, they topple everywhere. Um, so, for instance, the White Sage in a tin is different to the um, Smith Weight Centennial, and they don't sit or stack. Also, you notice them more when they're laid out like this side by side. Um, the Lenormand deck, as you'd expect, I suppose, these are beautiful, look at the backs. The Lenormand deck, picks is a standing Lenormand, the cards are smaller than, for example, the Centennial. So just to give you a comparison, that's the Centennial that we know and love. And then you have the um, Pixies of Stan in the Norman. So not much different, same width, but they are a little bit smaller. So they do, they do vary. So um, I noticed a conversation in the Hermit's Cave group where somebody was asking, are they all the same dimensions, etc.?" And they're not necessarily guaranteed to be. What I love about Pixies Lenormand here is, somebody said that all the pieces of art used are in the tarot, and that's not strictly true. There are, because there is a, an artist, which is it's by Edmund Zebrowski. Um, you know, there's the sun card clearly, but in the sun card, in the tarot, you don't get the entire, so someone's, you know, filled in, Edmund. That is taken from the star card. Um, but you know, first first time I saw that, I thought, oh, that would be the house that's in the Four of Wands, but it's not. Um, you know, so they've kind of used artistic license. 
you know, maybe that's a key that's based on one of the keys in the Hierophant card. Um, but it, it is in the style, and Pixie's got a lot of art as well that's not just the RWS. You know, she was an illustrator, etc. We recognise that horse. But it's wonderful, and it is so in keeping with, um, you know, the, the Centennial. It's done just like the Centennial in terms of the coloration and shading, etc. So I love this, and I often forget to mention it. When I was talking about my Lenormand collection, I get my box out that has all my Lenormand decks in, and of course the tin version sits with all my tins. So I often forget um, that I've got that. Also, most of the other decks are RWS inspired. We do have, I have the Sun and Moon, um, beautiful, beautiful um, tarot. Um, and wherever possible, I try and make sure I've got the the full size deck as well. So this one is gorgeous. I edged it in black and it has black borders whereas the full size tarot has white borders. Um, but the artwork in this is gorgeous. And these feel like quite large cards and the cardstock feels a lot thicker as well. So this is a deck that I really love. The Sun and Moon Tarot. And this is by Vanessa de Court, of course I had to had to think there for a second. So simple the artwork, but such a visual treat as well. It's really beautiful. So stripped back, isn't that amazing for the Six of Pentacles? Let's see if there's a couple more. Uh, yeah, I love the star card. I think the star card is beautiful. I look at the fall with a tiger. Um, so yeah, that's the, the sun and moon. Also, I have, um, which isn't RWS based, the Zilich Tarot. This is one of my most recent I think probably the last one I bought that was tarot in a tin. And this one again, you know, they're wider. They're quite, if you compare this with, <clears throat> the Centennial, you can see the difference. Let's put them back to back. There you go. So just because it's US games and it's a tarot in a tin and doesn't doesn't you know mean they're all gonna have the same dimensions, etc. Um I'm not gonna show too many of these. Most people now have seen the Zillich. Beautiful artwork, coloration is stunning. These are the backs. And this is a Thoth inspired deck. I haven't really worked, even though I appreciate its beauty, I haven't really worked with it a lot, to be honest. I haven't had it that long, but um, I haven't really gotten around to to working with this yet. So there's that one. And then the other one is a Marseille. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is the only Marseille that comes in a tin, and it's the Tarot D uh, Maria Celia. And this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um, that's a little title card that you get these are quite dinky as well I love the backs these aged almost like playing card back uh, vintage style beautiful and the hermits on the top again lovely purples pinks greens very soft colour palette. I love that death card. There's that Ace of Cups. And I was thrilled when I heard that they was bringing out a Marseille in a tin. Swords. Four of Swords. Cups. So they're really pretty. Let's show some ones, some pentacles. We'll find a pentacle. Oh, the next one is pentacles. Yeah, so the ace of clubs. And the card stock of this is divine. It just feels really buttery and beautiful. 
There's the moon. She's gorgeous. Yeah. So this is by far my favourite Marseille tarot deck in a tin. <laughs> I'm not funny. I don't know why I think I'm funny. I'm not funny. Um, I've also got some, the, the standard, you know, Radiant, um, Centennial, um, what we think of as some of the, of the classics, the Aquarian Tarot. Um, I have the Morgan Greer. I have done a video comparing this with the full size uh, Morgan Greer because there is a slight colour change um, in between the two decks. If I can find it, I'll list it uh, below as well. And then I also have um, Barbara Walker in a tin. I'll just show you a couple of these because Barbara Walker doesn't get a lot of exposure to be honest. And these cards are really big. They, they just fit the tin, but they're really quite large for a tarot and a tin deck, both in terms of width and uh, height. But look how beautiful they are. Again, very stripped back. There is a lot of border on them. Um, and I don't have the full size of this. I was only able to get, I believe it's out of print now, or it was around the time when uh, I was buying them. But I love that. Look at that five of wands. Oh. So I was only ever able to get the, the tinned version. Same with the next two as well that I'm going to show you. We'll start with the hermit. Gorgeous. Oh, two of swords. Let's just show the two of swords. Oh, and the three of swords is amazing. I love that for three of swords. So that's Barbara Walker. And do you know what? I was having this conversation with Sandra and I was talking about tarot in a tin and I said, tarot in a tin are great for just throwing in your bag. I don't throw them in my bag. I think the only time I've ever thrown a um, tarot in a tin in my bag was the Radiant. And this was the first tarot in a tin that I got. And I threw it in my bag and it started to scuff and get knocked about and that's the idea you know the metal the durable doesn't matter it protects the cards why am i so het up about oh my, my tin is getting damaged but i was so i took it out and i tend now just to use a uh, like one of the little mini uh, vintage ones or, or something like that wrapped in a uh, cloth um, I have the White Sage, so White Sage I adore. Um, it took a while to get this, because it was released in the States a lot sooner than over here. I had the full size version, and I can remember thinking that the card stock was really poor on the Indie, because it came out independently produced, but the tin came out mass produced by US Games, and I thought, well, US Games has amazing card stock. So I got them, and it is amazing cardstock, but actually when I compare them side by side, these have that feel, my fingers now feel oily because I'm touching these cards. They have, I don't know what they coat them with, but it's got that kind of, I can feel it on my fingers afterwards, like a buttery, oily feel. When I held them side by side, there wasn't that much difference, but I guess the smaller the card, the more durable the card feels, if that makes sense. Probably not. Um, yeah, so it's very, it's very pippish, as you can see. But it's, it's also extremely beautiful. So that's the, the White Sage look. <laughs> Adorable. So White Sage um, I got in the tin because I'd got the, the mass produced. Now the last two I want to show you, the 12, were um, decks that I just couldn't get full size. Whether I can now, I haven't looked for a couple of years. But the first one was the Wonderland Tarot. <clears throat> and I love 
for Wonderland X. You know, I've got Barbara Moores, I've got Baba Studios, I've got Dame Darcy. Um, but this was one of the first and it's a really nice deck. Again, not one that gets a lot of exposure. There's the back, we have Mad Hatter, there's the Fall. Cardstock is amazing. It's really thick and lovely. You can see by the thickness of the um, pile. Magician. And it's really, it's a great, great deck. Our Emperor is the Cheshire Cat. Tweedledee and Tweedledum for the lovers, which I love. Um, strength lot with a unicorn and lion. So it's illustrated lovely. It's very RWS. Um, there's our devil. Um, and I love it. I really love it. Look at the tower. So it's a fun little deck. Um, and I was only able to get it in a tin. And then the last one really kind of shows my mental age but i could not get this it's the gummy bear tarot and this is awesome these are the backs oh little gummy bears um, <laughs> and this is so rws oh isn't that Creepy. <laughs> the High Priestess. Empress. Yeah, I just really love it. There's my Five of Pentacles, look. Little gummy bear on crutches. But I was only able to get this. And not a lot of people knew that this was available in a tin. I've had a few people come here, you know, and look through my deck and it's like, Gummy Bears is in a tin? They had no idea. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the International Icon, you know, because they're so RWS, but, you know, the characters were being portrayed by the little gummy bear creatures. So it's great. So, I mean, this was supposed to be my favourites, wasn't it? And I've kind of showed you them all and said that I love them. But for the, the quirky value, um, Gummy Bear in a Tin is right up there. For RWS, it is the Smith Weight Centennial. I mean, I wish they'd come up with a borderless one. It would be nice. And yes, US Games, if anybody from US Games is ever watching this, Deviant Moon in a tin. I know the dimensions might need to be looked at and stuff, but you know, US Games, you know, um, what's the word? Publish? <laughs> yeah, produce, publish. Um, Deviant Moon. So Deviant Moon in a tin, please, would be amazing. Um, and also, if you're doing the Centennial, could you do the Borderless? Although, I really like the Centennial, you know, we got spoiled, didn't we? Because this was a lot of people's favourite deck as a as an RWS. It's got Pixies font, it's beautiful line work, the coloration is atmospheric, it has that vintage feel to it. It's a wonderful, wonderful deck. And then we got the borderless and was like, oh wow, they just took it to another level. Um, but some people really like the borders, some people don't like the borderless edition and that's fine too. Um, but it'd be nice to have that that option. But my favourite, my favourite favourite of all of my tin decks is this one, and it's the one I, I use the most. Um, there's some extra art cards that you get in it. They got muggled up in there. I normally have my little book which divides them, but uh, I haven't at the moment. And then of course. Maria Celia, because it's Marseille in a tin. So these will probably be my, my three favourites. Quirkiness, because it's not RWS. I'm not really, still not really into the whole f font thing. For a traditional RWS, and also give a little mention to the Lenormand Pixies Astounding Lenormand. I think it's wonderful. All right, so just a quick, fun Sunday afternoon video and an excuse to play with some of my decks, really. But if you've watched it this far, thank you for watching. 
Um, what tarot in a tin do you have? Or have you seen any here that you didn't know were available? What haven't I got from tarot in a tin? I think there's, is there Halloween tarot in a tin? Um, obviously Universal is coming and will be joining my collection. And I don't really know why I've got them. If I'm honest, I don't know why I've got them because whenever there's a full size version as well, I like to have them both. I kind of trick myself in saying, well, they're really portable and durable and I throw them in a bag. And as I said, I don't, but they're just nice to have. They're really nice to have. And you know, if you're doing a big spread and you're limited for space, they're great for that because they take up less space. And when I do online uh, readings for people, um, sometimes, you know, if somebody's asked for like a 13 card spread, then I will like to use probably my Smith weights and Tenure so I can fit them out um, and have that in shot on, on camera. Okay, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend wherever you are. Go in peace. Namaste and blessed be.